Good evening, my fellow pack members of the night. It's your alpha here, Twin Tails. And before the video gets started, I just want to say a few things. Uh, first, I want to say that I'm sorry to all of you for the late upload to part three of My Sweet Obsession. I just got held back at work and because of the new schedule and the long hours that they gave me, I was just super drained and just super tired. So I just did not feel passionate enough to get back to uploading videos. But because of all of my hard work, I now have a new schedule, a new pay rate, and I only have weekends off. So I will be uploading new videos every two weeks. And I have a lot of new content and fresh ideas. They're all original, funny, exciting, and I just can't wait to show you guys. I'm really excited about this. Secondly, I just want to announce that I have a Instagram now. Uh, so you can add me at twin tails underscore audios. And I just can't wait to see you guys. If you guys want to play games, just talk. Or if you have any script ideas that you want to send my way that you would like to see on my channel, just shoot me a quick link. And third and lastly, I would like to congratulate uh, a good friend of mine by the name of Miss Jennifer Fernandez. And I want to say congratulations to her and her family because I just heard the other day that she is with child. So like I said, congratulations. I hope she's listening and I just hope that she has a healthy baby boy or girl. So without further ado, guys, let's get this video started. <laughs> I know you're out here, my little bunny rabbit. I hope you know there's no point in hiding. I know you're close. You're so close I can even smell you. And you smell so... <laughs> delicious. And I have to admit, that was an impressive trick you pulled off back there. To think. You pick through your cuffs with using only a paper clip. I mean, I knew you were intelligent, but resourceful too. <laughs> well, at least I know where our children are going to get their cleverness from. But sweetie, you should know not to run off like that. Who knows what terrifying monsters could be lurking in the shadows. And with such a cute, innocent little bunny rabbit such as yourself, who's to say they won't try and hurt you? So why don't you come back home and let me put you back in your nice safe cage? Look, I know I was being a little harsh with keeping you locked up in that dirty basement all this time. And maybe killing your friends was a bit extreme, but I did all this to make sure you were safe. All I wanted to do was keep you safe. Is, is that so wrong? How does keeping you safe make me the bad guy? Or 
Is this your way of testing me? To see how far I'll go for you? Or maybe you just wanted to go back to your family and forget all about me. <laughs> Doesn't matter which. You should know I'm not going to let you go without a fight. And besides, because of you, I don't get that nagging urge to kill anyone. Well, maybe those bastards who want to take you away from our little paradise. But other than that, no one else comes to mind. So why don't you just come out and all will be forgiven? <laughs> I hope you know you can't hide forever. I'm going to find you. There you are. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, you scared me. Oh, it's just a baby bear. Oh, you're a cute little thing, aren't you? Oh, you're hurt. You poor thing. I hate to see a poor animal suffer. Come here. Come here. Come here. I won't hurt you. Come here. There we go. See? I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanted to pitch. There we go. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Just. Close your eyes and go to sleep. And dream a good dream. Well, it looks like we're gonna have deer meat for tomorrow. <laughs> now, honey, I love these games just as much as the next person. But this hide and seek shit is getting real old. <clears throat> now. If you don't come out from whatever hole or bush you're hiding in, then I might just have to pay a visit to your dear old dad. Ooh, or maybe your poor sickly mother. <laughs> maybe dissecting her lovely skin could distract me for a bit. Still nothing, huh? Maybe you'll come out if I went after that adorable little sibling of yours. Oh yes, I could hear them now, screaming in agony, begging for their big sister to rescue them from the freak. I wonder what face you'll make if I drop their lifeless corpse in front of your eyes. Anger, grief, or maybe fear. Oh, there's so many to choose from, even I don't know. But I'm a sporting man. I won't resort to such violence if you just come out. You know what? I'll even give you to the count of three. One, two, three. Aw, oh, I knew it, you would see it my... Oh, no. Nice kitty. Nice kitty. 
Come to smack me around some more, huh? Well, how about you untie me so I can kick your ass? It's you. Oh, thank God. I thought you were that psycho in the hoodie. What happened? Uh, I don't remember much, honestly. I remember the party. I remember getting drinks and having a good time. But after that, it's just fuzzy. Like my head is right now. <laughs> yeah, that's probably from the blood loss. Anyway, the last thing I remember, I was waking up in this dusty old shack, being strung up like some pinata, and this freak in a hoodie standing in front of me with a tire iron asking me questions about you. Just wait till I get my hands on him, I swear I'll. Huh? What do you mean he's dead? Wait, you didn't... He got attacked by some creature? Sounds like that bastard got off easy. <laughs> Ugh, fuck. I want it to be the one that teaches that creep a lesson for what he did to me. <sighs> you want to take a look at my injury? Thanks, I appreciate it. How does it look? You think I'll be able to play soccer anytime soon? <laughs> what did he do? Question is, is what didn't that sick bastard do to me? That asshole did this to me because he was pissed that I wouldn't tell him the passwords to my accounts so he could transfer all my money into his account. That way he could start on his preparation for you guys to start a new life together somewhere. Yeah, really. And when I told him he could take that lead pipe in the corner and shove it so far up his ass that he gets lead poisoning, well, you can see what he did. Honestly, he could have broken both my legs. I still wouldn't tell him anything. Ugh. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? Yeah, right. You're crazy if you think I'm giving some creep all my hard-earned money. Do you know how long it took me to save it all? I wasn't going to let some lunatic in some hoodie take it all. For me. Plus, I like having you around. You're cool people. And on top of that, you know how to make an awesome margarita. No way I'm letting that guy take you. How does it feel? Well, other than my leg feeling like crap, I'm just peachy. Hey, don't worry. I've been through worse. I might not be able to walk right now, but at least I still have my looks. <laughs> okay, now that we got all that mushy crap out of the way, we need to get the heck out of here. Do you have any idea where we are? 
So you think we're somewhere in the mountains. <sighs> great. Just great. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just pissed we don't have more to go on. <sighs> I guess I shouldn't cry over spilled milk. I'm, you know, alive and that's something. Yeah, we should definitely get off the mountain before that storm gets any closer. If I get an infected leg and end up losing it, I'm probably gonna cry. I'm very fond of both of my legs and I would love to keep them. Yeah, I was gonna move on. Help me up. Oopsie-daisy. Thanks. Not a bad job with the splint, by the way. It's working. Hopefully it holds till we get to a hospital. Okay. Let's get a move on. So that's what happened. Jesus, I'm so sorry to hear that. Not only did this creep stalk you for the last few months, he decided to kill anyone he deemed a nuisance. This guy's good. I mean, really good. I get that your ex and best friend were extreme jerks to you, but nobody deserves to die like that. I'm sorry for your loss. Wait a minute. What do you mean by a threat? How was I a threat to him? So you're telling me that this guy kidnaps and tortures me with a tire iron, beats your ex-boyfriend to death with a hammer to just turn around and let your best friend go running off into the mountains to get eaten by wolves. All because he felt like we were a threat, correct? Jesus. And I thought my insecurity was bad. Yeah, it's good that you found me when you did. A few more days being strung up like that and I would have died from blood loss. <laughs> and thanks for the shoulder, also. It's, uh, helping my leg. I just wish I had a chance to teach that asshole the lesson in humility. <coughs> hmm? Yeah, you're right. We need to focus on getting off this mountain. Hopefully we're close. What I wouldn't do for a couple cheeseburgers right about now. You too, huh? How about when all this is over, we grab a couple? My treat. Yeah, really. You saved my life, after all. So, I think you're entitled to one. Don't you think? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, I really wasn't paying attention. Wow, that's a long drop. If you didn't pull me back, I could have... Never mind. But now what? I don't think we can climb down with the shape my leg is in, and it'll probably take longer to go around, so... I don't know, what's your verdict? <sighs> around. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna move on. Well, hello, my goddess. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know how I feel about you hanging around other people other than me. Didn't I tell you I will kill anyone that came in between us? You see what happens when you don't listen? Naughty, naughty. You bastard. How are you still alive? I thought the mountain lion got you. Oh, you're still alive. And here I could have sworn I hit a lung. Guess my aim is off a little bit, but no matter. It looks like you already lost a lot of blood from our earlier play date. <laughs> 
but I'll answer your question. Think of it as a parting gift before you die. As I'm guessing you were told earlier, yes, I did get attacked by a mountain lion, but as you can see, my death was greatly exaggerated. But I can't say I left the fight unscathed. Damn thing did get in a few hits, but I managed to get out alive. I really thought I was going to die from the shock. <laughs> but thank God for bandages and morphine. But I will say that after that little incident, I thought I might have lost you forever. But luckily for me, I learned how to track footprints from those hunting trips from my dear departed father. I should thank him really, but because of that whole hunting accident, uh, I don't think he'll hear me. <laughs> uh, good times. Now beloved, I think it's time for us to leave, otherwise your dinner's gonna get cold. No. Well, it looks like a certain someone has made you a little defiant. So I'll tell you what. Let me go. Let her go? Oh, sweetheart, I don't think so. Now you're going to listen to what I have to say. Now, I'm no real doctor, but I'm guessing your friend's wounds need immediate attention, so I'm guessing she has about mm, 10 minutes before she completely bleeds out and dies. But if I was to administer first aid, then she might survive long enough for me to call in a favor. So here's the deal. If you agree to come back home with me, I'll call in that favor and have someone come up here in 15 minutes to save her life. But if you want to continue this little game of yours, then I can just save us both the trouble right now and just put a bullet in between your friend's skull and take you home by force. So what do you say? Don't do it. He's just going to- Shut up. No one asks for your opinion. <laughs> now. What's it going to be, my little butterfly? Me or her? Do we have a deal? You will? You'll come home? Oh, my sweet angel. I knew you would make the right- Now die, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm okay. <coughs> Is this blood? Is this my blood? No, I'm bleeding. You bitch. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Now die. No. Oh.